Cloud Dev just keeps on improving. It's absolutely mind blowing how fast this project is evolving. Um, kudos to Saud who just keeps on shipping amazing features and is very um, oriented towards solving problems and adding new features that are actually very valuable and well needed. So if you guys haven't checked out Cloud Dev, definitely give it a go. Very easy to download it via the VS Code extension section marketplace. You just come here, Cloud Dev, and you install it. You can see here the change log. The most exciting changes, the recent changes since my last video about Cloud Dev were actually the fact that you can add OpenAI compatible APIs. So obviously you can start working with Grok and you can also start working with local LLMs, meaning Olama. If you don't have Olama, um, you just come here to the website, you download whatever you, based on the operating system that you have, whether it's a Linux, Windows, or Microsoft or Apple, then you just, as soon as you download Olama, you just go to command line, you select whichever model you would like. Let's say in my case, I want the Llama 3.1. You take this, you copy it into the command line, and then you're good to go. You have Olama running. Hey, this is a test from Olama. And it will respond because the LLM, the, the model has been downloaded. As you can see over here, it was downloaded. It's approximately four gigabytes, 4.7 gigabytes. And it is going to respond in a moment. This obviously depends on how powerful is your computer. As you can see here is the response. I need your help with explaining what exactly is the Olama project. This is just a an extension that I built for myself that basically uses speech to text. So I wanted to showcase this as well. I need your help as explaining what exactly the Olam project is an experiment in artificial intelligence and creativity. Okay, you get the gist. Now, once you've downloaded or Olama and you download the model, what you need to do in order to use it in Cloud Dev, you just come here to Cloud Dev. Go to the, sex, the settings area, choose Olama, and right here you write the model ID. In my case, it's 3.1, and then you're good to go. You hit the done button, and you can start using Cloud Dev completely locally. If you would like to connect Cloud, you can just come here, open AI compatible, and just add the base URL to Grok. Sorry, I confused Cloud and Grok. The base URL for Grok, your API keys, and you're pretty much good to go. Okay, so that's the first exciting feature that was shipped a few days ago. And another exciting feature is actually the ability to see files that were changed in the timeline. So basically when you're using Cloud Dev and you make many changes to the files, instead of having um, like version control using GitHub, everything can be everything is already tracked by VS Code locally. So for example, I have this file, which I made adjustments nine minutes ago, and I can go down here and see in the timeline all the adjustments that we've done. I have the pop-up file, or let's show you the styles. So one edit nine minutes ago. We have this one, nine, 10 minutes ago, one edit, file saved. This one, the last save was three weeks ago. So you can basically see all the changes that Cloud Dev has done to your files in the timeline area, which is very convenient because then you can easily switch back to if some if you change something and it doesn't work, it seems broken, you can just revert to the later uh, the the earlier version, which is useful as well. Let me see if I covered everything. I think that those were the ma major changes that I noticed that are meaningful for my workflow. And I guess that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video please leave a comment below, obviously subscribe. Uh, I know it was very short and to the point. I hope it was to the point. I know it was very short and I hope it was to the point. Just wanted to update you about these amazing updates by the Cloud Dev team, which basically consists 
as far as I know, of Saud only and all the contributors. Uh, I will keep you posted about more projects that I'm building with Cloud Dev. And until next time, keep on automating.